these gravity-defying mountaineers feel most at home on almost vertical rock faces. Today's video is a fascinating look into the lives of this amazing animal. Scientists call them Oriamnos americanus, but most of us call them mountain goats. So what's the big deal about mountain goats? Well, first of all, they're known for being super agile and for being able to adapt to their rough and tough environments. This video is going to explain a few things about their lives that aren't as well known. We're looking into the adaptability of their bodies and the amazing horns they grow, and a lot more. Join us as we check out 20 facts you probably didn't know about mountain goats. <sighs> Number 20. Climbers on high. Mountain goats are fascinating because of how they move through their terrain. Put simply, mountain goats are known for their amazing climbing skills. Their bodies have evolved in unique ways that help them climb steep hills with amazing ease. Their feet are like climbing shoes because they have a hard shell and soft pads. This lets them hold on to almost unseen ledges and curves on mountainsides. Even though they look large from the side, these good climbers are pretty slim from the front, which helps them stay balanced on small surfaces. It can seem like no predator can catch mountain goats, but as we'll see later, there are a few critters up in these mountains who can actually keep up with these masters of acrobatics. Even though we know quite a bit about how mountain goats' bodies have changed to fit their rocky environment, we still don't know a whole lot about how they're so darn good at climbing. Mountain goats are hard to see in action because they live in remote places with difficult terrain. Ryan Lewison and Darren Stefanshin, biomechanic experts at University of Calgary, looked at a YouTube video of a male mountain goat climbing the Canadian Rocky Mountains frame by frame. By looking at this clip, they learned a lot about how these awesome animals can move so quickly on almost vertical surfaces. Their strong legs and bodies help them keep their balance. The strong muscles in their legs give them the strength that they need. These buff legs give them the juice to jump high and move quickly. Basically, every day is leg day for a mountain goat. The front legs are also a little bit shorter than the back legs, and this fact helps them keep their stability when they're heading up or down steep slopes. Mountain goats are also very coordinated, and they always know where they are in the world. They have a really good sense of balance, which lets them move carefully and precisely on narrow rocks and rocky outcrops. Because they have such a good sense of space, they can figure out how strong and stable each perch is which lets them move safely on hills that look impossible to climb. Mountain goats are real masters of their surroundings. They can climb better than anyone else. When you know how they move, you can learn a lot about the natural wonders that help these amazing animals survive in their tough environments. Now, how about using those strong fingers of yours to hit like and subscribe if you don't want to get headbutted off a cliff by an angry mountain billy goat? Number 19, horns of a billy goat. So here's a question. How often does a mountain goat shed its horns? Mountain goats are known for their unique features, like their feet with specialized hooves and their large horns. Mountain goats don't lose their horns like deer and moose do with their antlers. Mountain goats' thin, pointy horns are important, especially as a way to protect themselves from predators and to compete with other members of their own species. Mountain goats, both male and female, use their sharp horns to protect themselves from danger and settle disagreements amongst themselves. Mountain goats' horns are different lengths based on their age and Goat kids are born with small button horns that get bigger as they grow up. Male and female goats have horns that are something like 6 to 11 inches long as adults. It can be hard to measure the length of the horns in the wild, but records from hunts give us an idea of an average. Their horns keep growing for the entirety of their life, though the rate of growth does slow as the goat gets older. Mountain goat's horns are not just beautiful, they also help them stay alive in their harsh surroundings. Researchers are still amazed by how these special animals have evolved and how they behave. Number 18. The Winter Coats of Mountain Goats Mountain goats are interesting animals that are known for their thick, two-layered coats that help them survive hard winters. In May, they start losing these coats, which males do first. It also looks like females shed later when they have young, which is backed up by scientific studies. Researchers were able to study how mountain goats shed their skin by looking at pictures of them taken in different places.
Mountain goat males molt before mountain goat females, and nannies without kids molt before nannies with kids. This is likely because having kids takes a lot of energy. A few researchers pointed out a few inconsistencies in these studies, but nonetheless, the study gave some interesting insights. Elevation and location are also both factors on when the animals change. Mountain goats at higher elevations molt later than those at lower elevations, while mountain goats in the north molt faster than those in the south. Temperature and sunshine are thought to be the main reasons for these differences, as other studies on molting have shown. Number 17. Mountain goats are not, in fact, goats. I know this one tripped me out too. Even though they're called goats, mountain goats are not in the same group as real goats. So what's going on here? Goats that aren't really goats? Are they fake goats? Well, now that you ask, in fact, they're in the same family as antelopes, gazelles, and cattle. They're called bovidae. The mistaken name just comes from the fact that they look like real goats with fuzzy bodies, cloven feet, and horns. But where they live makes them uh, pretty different. Mountain goats live way up high, and they have thick fur to keep them warm, and this gives them that goaty look. A lot of people still have different ideas about how mountain goats should be categorized. Some call them goat-like, while others say they should be descendants of real goats and antelopes, or even goat antelopes. But DNA tests have shown that they're also related to musk oxen. Most likely, mountain goats, real goats, and sheep all came from the same animal ancestor a long time ago. In fact, researchers are still trying to figure out how the species are related because there's so many strange similarities spread all over the animal world. Finding out how these things work helps to show how many different kinds of life there are on our planet. Number 16, diet of a mountain goat. Mountain goats are vegetarians. They eat grasses, herbs, mosses, sedges, lichen, bark, and sticks, among lots of other stuff, the ruminants. This means they have a four-chambered gut that helps them digest food made from plants. Through fermentation, microbes in the first two gut regions break down tough cellulose into carbs that the body can use. After that, the goats throw up their food and rechew it with their special teeth to break it down even more. This lets them get as many nutrients as possible from the plants. The process of eating for a goat is slow and consistent. It takes something like 15 hours for food to go all the way through their bodies. Their guts are about 100 feet long, which is what helps them absorb the nutrients well. The fact that mountain goats can survive in rough, high-altitude settings thanks to their unique gut system shows how well-designed nature is. These goats show how different life is for some animals and how different species have changed to make the most of the environment they're in, no matter how harsh and how unforgiving that environment may be. Understanding these changes can teach us a lot about the delicate balance of environments and how animals manage to live in such difficult-to-live places. Number 15. How high up on mountains can mountain goats live? Mountain goats are known for their ability to live well in alpine and subalpine settings. They often live at altitudes that are above 13,000 feet. This makes them a record breaker. They hold the title of the biggest mammal in these lofty areas. They have an edge because the steep and difficult ground keeps them safe from possible predators. Mountain goats usually stay above the tree line during the summer, and when winter comes, they move to lower levels to find food and protection. These agile climbers just love high hilly areas, but you can also find them at sea level as long as there are rocks around. But they can head up to more than 10,000 feet above sea level. The beautiful Kenai Peninsula is home to between 3,600 and 4,600 mountain goats. In late spring and summer, you can see these majestic animals along the Harding Icefield Trail. Otherwise, Idaho, Washington, British Columbia, and South Central Alaska are some of their favorite places to live. The area between Kane's Head and Callisto Head is called Goat Alley because in late May and early June, it's a common place to see goats given birth on the beach. This natural event also shows how well mountain goats can adapt to harsh surroundings, which makes them a true natural wonder. Their ability to move through difficult terrain and stay alive in hard circumstances shows how tough they are as a species. Number 14. Mountain Goat Jumps Over a Deep Gorge Get ready to be blown sideways by a video going viral for a very good reason. 
It shows mountain goats doing amazing things as they cross a huge valley in the mountains. The video's been clicked on more than 7 million times, so what's the big deal? Well, it shows a group of mountain goats jumping over a large gap between two rocks. Even when they're young, goats are already very good at climbing. These agile animals have natural ability to climb rocks, and they learn how to do it within days of being born. When you see how these animals get through such dangerous terrain, it'll blow your mind. So take a look at these amazing jumps. One of the kids did a standing jump after that big boy did it. I wasn't sure, but I'm glad they all got there. Mountain goat's back legs are very strong, which lets them jump in the air with a lot of power. Because they're so strong, they can easily jump over big gaps and other barriers. Mountain goats live in North America's Rockies and Cascades. They're the biggest animals in their high altitude habitat. And they do well there because they don't have a whole lot of natural enemies. Only mountain lions and bears are a major threat, but it's not easy to catch a mountain goat. Also, because they're so fierce and protective, they're hard to beat in fights over territory and food. Number 13, body size. Let's talk about how large these big, strong animals are. Are they really big? Well, no, not really. They're actually just well-suited to their surroundings. They're just the right size. It's not easy to tell how old they are. This is because size is not the only thing that matters. Adult males weigh about 150 pounds on average. On the other hand, adult females weigh less. They tip the scales at about 125 pounds. But some older female goats are bigger than the other male goats in the group. This means size alone isn't a reasonable measuring stick to tell if a goat is male or female, or even old or young. Adult males are usually bigger and stockier than adult females, and the very biggest that they can weigh is up to 300 pounds, about double the average male mountain goat size. Goats that are about two years old are called yearlings. These mountain goat teenagers weigh between 60 and 70 pounds. They can have a shoulder height of something in the region of 27 inches. Kids, on the other hand, are easy to spot because they're small and they only weigh about 35 pounds. They stand 20 inches tall at the front of the shoulder, but they weigh about 50,000 pounds on the cuteness scale. It can be hard to tell the sexes apart from a distance, and in certain situations, especially when watching animals in the wild with different backgrounds. For better recognition, you need a good spotting camera and time to look closely at mountain goats to figure out their gender and age. Number 12. How they live and mate. At about 30 months old, mountain goats are ready to have their first kid. During the breeding season, from late October to early December, nannies have their periods all at the same time, and mating practices follow. Billies compete for mates by doing things like staring at nannies, making running pits, and getting into showy and sometimes dangerous fights. So basically, it's the same as humans. Most of the time, nannies choose older partners over younger billies. After mating season is over, males and females go their different ways. Nannies live in loosely knit groups of up to about 50 animals in the nursery, while adult billies usually live alone or in small groups. After six months, babies are born. This usually happens at the end of May or at the start of June. Nannies give birth to a single baby on a ledge by themselves, then lick the baby dry and eat the placenta, kind of like Tom Cruise. When they're born, babies weigh a little more than 6.6 .6 pounds, and they can run and climb within hours of being born. Even though most babies stop nursing at one month, they can stay close to their moms for the first year or until the next breeding season if the nanny gives birth again. Nannies keep their kids safe by moving them away from danger, keeping an eye out for predators, and standing below their youngsters on steep parts to keep them from falling. They can jump around within hours, but just like humans, mom's there to make sure they don't fall. Number 11, weaving and painting by native people. The native people of Alaska's North Pacific coast have a long history of using different parts of mountain goats to make beautiful works of art with deep cultural meaning. Mountain goat hair and cedar bark are sometimes used to make chilcat and ravenstail rugs with detailed designs. The hair is taken from hides in the spring or from wool that's been shed early in the summer. It's then carefully treated and sometimes even colored with natural plant material. To make these blankets, you need a lot of skill and traditional knowledge. And the group of committed traditional weavers includes artists who are known all over the world. Mountain goat horns are also carefully carved into spoons or used for ceremonies and etched with detailed designs. Mountain goat hair is very valuable to these traditional weavers. 
And if you find some while hiking in the mountains, you can give it to them to help them with their work. To do this, local Alaska Department of Fish and Game offices can help tourists get in touch with local weavers. Mountain goat hair is used to make the chill cat and Ravensdale tail rugs, which are some of the most beautiful and sought after pieces of traditional Native American art in all of the Pacific Northwest. Their intricate designs and deep meanings have been passed down from one family to the next, helping to keep these indigenous communities traditions alive. Number 10, goats really do want to drink your urine. So I've got to say, so far, these goats have seemed like pretty cool animals. You could even call them noble, but they can also be weird. This next story explains all the reasons that mountain goats can just be plain gross sometimes. Wildlife officials back in 2018 said that hundreds of mountain goats had to be flown out of a national park in Washington state. The reason? They had an unquenchable thirst for human pee. Because they love and were looking for salt and minerals in human urine, backpacks, and sweat on clothes, the goats became a problem on highly frequented paths and at forest campsites. They really literally had to use helicopters and trucks to start moving goats out of the Olympic National Park. Professional teams used tranquilizer darts and net guns to catch the animals on steep hills and slopes in the National Park about 100 miles west of Seattle. The animals were blindfolded, put on slings made just for them, and flown to a park staging area. They were checked out, given drinks, and fitted with a tracking device. After this, they were sent on a little ride by truck and boat to different areas in the North Cascades. From there, they were shipped in boxes to an alpine habitat where they were set free. But sadly, they no longer had access to their favorite drink, human pee-pee. Wildlife officials said that the goats were moved to protect natural resources, make visitors feel safer, and increase the number of native goats in other parts of Washington state. Penny Wagner, a park official, said that almost 100 goats were moved in September of 2018. Number 9. Mountain goats can get mean. Mountain goats are usually quiet and hard to catch. They eat plants and they rarely attack people. But because they have strong bodies and sharp horns, they can be dangerous. Their horns can, and if they feel threatened, they have been known to attack. In places where people have fed them, or where they're used to people, they might stand their ground if they meet you on the path. To stay safe while hiking at a certain level, it's important to take certain steps. The first rule is stay at least 50 yards away from any wildlife in the park, and that includes mountain goats. To put it another way, don't go near them. It's not a good idea to feed mountain goats or attract them with sweaty clothes because it could lead to a dangerous situation in the future. If you see a mountain goat on the road, back away slowly if it comes towards you. If it gets too close, yell and wave your climbing sticks or arms to scare it away. And in case you are attacked, you should tell park guards or people in charge of the wildlife in the area. Number eight, distribution. Mountain goats live in the North American Western Cordillera which is full of mountains. The Rocky Mountains, the Cascade Range, and other mountain ranges are where they live. They also call Washington, Idaho, and Montana home. You can spot them in the Canadian provinces of British Columbia and Alberta, as well as the Southern Yukon. And if you live in Southeast Alaska, well, that's one more place to go mountain goat spotting. The Chugach Mountains of Alaska are considered the northernmost point of their range, in fact. Mountain goats tend to stay above the tree line, which is the highest point the trees can grow all year long. But as the seasons change, they move to higher or lower areas within their range. During the winter, they often move to low elevation mineral licks where they can get the minerals that they need to stay healthy. During these journeys, they may have to walk several kilometers through forests. Number seven, naming conventions. There are some interesting rules about how mountain goats are named. The female goats are called nannies, and the male goats are called billies. And finally, we have the cute baby goats that are called kids. The word nanny probably came from an 18th century children's word, nanny goat. This means a young female goat. Over time, nanny just came to be used for all female goats. On the other hand, the male goat is called a billy. It's not totally clear where the word billy came from, but some experts think it comes from the name Bill or Billy. These were often used to refer to male animals in general, and over time, Billy just became the specific name for male goats. The word kid is a young goat. It comes from Old Norse, where the word kid also meant a young goat. Over time, kid became the standard term for young goats. 
today these words are used to talk about goats of all ages and different sexes. Nannies tend to live together with their young in groups of up to 20 animals called herds, but billies on the other hand, they're more independent. They usually live alone or just with a few other guys. Number 6. Mountain Goat Baby Follows Mother Shot in the rugged wilderness of the Rocky Mountains, this moving video shows a family of mountain goats crossing dangerous rapids. The adult goats, led by their experienced parents, move quickly and gracefully through the Roaring River. A young, brave baby goat wants to follow in the footsteps of its older cousins. At first, it's hesitant. The little goat watches as a teenage goat gracefully jumps across the rapids, inspiring the little goat to try the same. However, the scary jump proves difficult, and the baby goat retreats after a missed landing. Undeterred, it gathers courage and takes a deep breath before jumping into the river. Even though the rapids are strong, the baby goat manages to get a grip on the other side. It's a touching moment that ends when the baby goat is happy to see its mother on the other side. This awe-inspiring clip shows that even the smallest animals have a strong will and are determined. It also shows the beauty of nature and the important lessons we learn about resilience and family bonds all just from watching animals in their natural habitats. Number 5. The name Arimnos comes from the Greek language. The mountain goat, scientifically known as Arimnos americanus, is a remarkable hoofed animal living in North America. It's well suited to subalpine and alpine environments, and it has great climbing skills on cliffs and icy surfaces. We already talked about most of those facts. Just one mystery remains. Why are they called Oremnos? The name Oremnos comes from Greek words. Oros means mountain in ancient Greek, and Amnos means lamb, so mountain lamb. But hold on, it's not a lamb, it's a goat. And, well, not even really a goat, but more like an antelope cousin. Well, sometimes things just are the way they are because that's the way they are. In fact, this name fits the mountain goat well since it lives in the mountains, and it looks like a sure-footed lamb making its way through tough terrain. In ancient Greek mythology, goats played important roles in many stories and religious rituals. One of the most famous goat figures was the god Pan. He was half man, half goat, and had horns and hooves. Pan was the god of the wild, shepherds, and flocks, and he played his reed pipes, which were called pan pipes, to make music that make people and animals fall in love. Number 4. Hunting for food and for fun. Alaskan natives have been sustenance hunting mountain goats for thousands of years. They use these amazing animals for food, their hides, and rituals. Even in the 21st century, mountain goats are still a vital source of food in remote rural communities. Especially spots, deer, moose, and caribou are hard to find. Their ability to live in harsh environments makes them an important resource for these communities. However, hunting mountain goats? It's not easy. These animals live in dangerous high-altitude terrains, so hunters need to know how to stalk their prey. Mountain goat hunting is governed by strict rules to ensure sustainability and conservation. Qualified guides often go with sport hunters to make sure they follow the rules and they hunt in an ethical way. These guides play an important role in teaching hunters how important it is to hunt responsibly and keep the mountain goat population healthy. Number 3. Range The mountain goat only lives in alpine regions, and this range is through western North America, from Colorado in the US to Alaska, the Yukon, and the Northwest Territories in Canada. These awesome animals have adapted to live in rough mountainous terrains, where they show off their amazing climbing skills on cliffs and rocky slopes. There are between 80,000 and 110,000 mountain goats in the world. <laughs> The area around Terrace and Smithers in central British Columbia has the most mountain goats per square mile. Number 2. Description of Mountain Goats The mountain goat is a unique mammal that's known for its unique appearance and its impressive adaptations to its alpine habitat. Its thick, creamy white coat of long hair helps keep it warm during the cold winter months and blends in with snowy surroundings. This gives it camouflage and protects it from predators. When the weather gets warmer, the mountain goat rubs against trees to get rid of its thick coat, revealing a shorter coat underneath. Mountain goats have black lips, noses, hooves, and horns that make them stand out. The horns of adult mountain goats are sharp and pointy, and they curve up and slightly backward. Females have horns that grow to 9 inches long at most. On the other hand, males can have horns that are up to 12 inches long. 
Their hooves are shaped to make it easy for them to walk on dangerous ledges and cliffs. They have a hard straight edge on the outside, but the inside has a soft flexible pad. This is the cool adaptation that gives them tip top traction on rocky surfaces. Mountain goats are something like three and a half feet tall at the shoulder, and they can weigh as much as 300 pounds for the really big boy males. Female mountain goats are about 15% smaller than males on average. The mountain goat is one of nature's best climbers. This is because it has a powerful body and it can move super quick. And of course, it has those feet that are shaped in a really special way. Number one, predators. Mountain goats face many predators in their alpine habitat and their survival often depends on how well they've adapted and defended themselves. <laughs> Bears, wolves, eagles, and wolverines are some of the predators that will have mountain goats quaking in their hooves. And as you might guess, kids are especially vulnerable. Smart bears, wolves, eagles, and wolverines often go after them. But luckily, mountain goats are really good climbers, which is one of the ways they protect themselves. Their favorite trick is to hide on steep, rocky slopes. Here, areas are hard for most animals to reach. Plus, female mountain goats are super protective of their young. <laughs> They'll even fight a bear. They stand close behind their kids to protect them. This includes from terrifying eagles that might try to knock them off their feet and down the mountain. But as you might guess, even though they try to stay safe, some mountain goats still get eaten by predators. But the biggest threat to their population isn't from predators. It's from gravity and avalanches. They live constantly at risk of accidents and falls. Too many of these can cause a lot of damage to their population number. Well, we hope you enjoyed learning these 20 interesting facts about mountain goats. Which surprised you the most? And would you go on a high altitude hike to see these amazing climbers in action? Let us know in the comments below. Check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.